So someone asked me a question the other day and they said, you know, how much has selling changed over the years? And I think this is something that has actually been blown out of proportion because the fact of the matter is now that we understand neuroscience and what has to happen in the brain in order for you to buy something or to someone to be sold, it's the same process as it's always been. There's a certain sequence and that's just the way it goes, right? And I think the fundamentals of how people buy and how people sell are the same. And I think what's happened is a lot of people have marketed all these other ideas saying, oh, sales is completely different now and it's sales 2.0 and social selling and everything like that. And all that stuff is, is just different ways of reaching out to people, right? Because people are using different methods of communication, right? And so people are saying, you know, cold calling is dead. And I say, look, if your schedule is wide open and you're sitting there and waiting for people to contact you, get on the phone and be proactive and go after them, right? If you've got nothing but white space on the calendar, go and fill it. It doesn't matter how you fill it. And then people will ask me as well, well, today, is there a different way that you should communicate with people? And the answer to that is, again, it depends on what the client's that you're going after are using for communication. You know, some people like Skype, some people like LinkedIn, some people like Facebook, some people only use the phone. You know, it just, you have to figure it out. And so I don't think there's any one single way. And I think really the fundamentals of how you sell, I think when you get down to the actual basics and the conversations and the selling process and the presenting, I think what made a good salesman a hundred years ago is the same as what makes a really good salesman today because of the neuroscience that we know now because the same process has to go off in your head as it's always had to, right? Not too much has changed in our brains over the last 400 years of anything, right? So that's the, the cold hard facts of it. And yeah, you know, I think it's great if you can get a bunch of people coming to you versus doing the cold calling. But look, if you're whole calendar is empty, reach out and be proactive. Or if your dream client isn't knocking on your door, go out and be proactive, right? So I think people have got a little carried overboard with all the new dynamics of selling. You know, of course, there's a lot of great CRMs and everything like that, but you know, I, I don't think a CRM necessarily is going to skyrocket your sales, right? You have to go out there and do the basics and the CRMs will help track those basics and help you be more effective that way, but it's still it still comes down to the basics, right? Because again, you know, how your brain has to get tripped off in order to buy something or to sell someone is the same as it's always been and it's probably always going to stay that way unless we get into some weird nanotechnologies and things like that but who knows so anyway that's my opinion hope you guys like this video and i'll see you on the next how to kick ass and sales.com tip of the day bye bye